Hi everybody, here I am in another video about Lima. So we are going to explore the city today in a very... Oh, yeah. 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 I hold the camera, but everything she said is correct. Um, we are really going to explore the city of Lima, the capital of Peru. And uh, who are you again? Uh, I am Marjorie from Lima. Oh, right. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we met before, but uh, Marjorie is going to show me some really, really cool local places in Lima. So let's go. This is the main spot of La Punta. And if we go maybe in that direction, we will see the two oceans to the left and to the right that merge at the, at the top of the top, at the top of La Punta. So we have to the left and to the right, we have both oceans and then they merge both together. That's really cool. I want to go see the two oceans merging together. Ah, by the way, we look at there are some maybe guys yeah. coming from that direction. Yeah, the, the Navy school is like two blocks from here. So we are going to visit them. So basically La Punta, from what I heard here from my local friend, uh, is a neighborhood here in Lima that was founded in 1915. Yes, in 1915. By Italian immigrants. Yeah, there were a lot of Italian immigrants that came here and they, they established in different houses and families that live longer. For example, this is one of the more representative houses, I would say. There are several houses like this in, in different areas of La Punta. This is the Navy School. There are train here, and the guys that we saw before, they are the ones who came, who, yeah. uh, who trained here. Came from the Navy School. <laughs> Here's the Navy guy on guard, the Navy School. Navy woman, sorry. In white, they all look the same when they're dressed like that. These are all yachts normally, there is a yacht yeah. Um Yeah. If, if you have a yacht, you can leave it here. And if you see maybe a little bit far away, mm -hmm. there is the, the Callao's port, which is the main port of Peru. Right. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can see all the, all the containers and everything that comes into Peru. It's not... Uh, a beach to swim though, is it? No, it is, it is. It's the only one that we can swim. Well, ah, yeah? not the only one. We can swim everywhere, but this is normally where the people swim. Mm. So you can, we can go. I used to come when I was a child to this beach. It's, beach. it's a long shore, very calm ocean to swim. It's mm. very Pacific, it's very, but it's super cold. You can right. see it's super cold. Everything on this, uh, on the Pacific Ocean is cold. All yeah. the beaches on the Pacific Ocean are cold. Mostly. That's yeah. the problem. Except of the north closer to, the, to the equator. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, rocky beach, guys. But it's better than nothing, right? Ah, look, there's some people in the water. I see one person in the water. One brave soul. Yeah, in summer though, not now. All right, it's cold, but... Ah, I've seen colder water, Marjorie. Come on. <laughs> Don't act as if well, we have the coldest water in the world here in Peru. Maybe in Antarctica um, it's cold, but I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. San Lorenzo Island, uh, which has like five kilometers from here, is like four, almost five kilometers from the from the coast. Yeah. That which is very nice. Ah, that's there. a rowboat. Yeah. Wow, it's so yes. thin. It's very thin. That's to go faster. Wow, it's so thin. They sit in here. There is a guard and it's kind of us. It's ah, a guard. <laughs> ah, pardon, pardon, senor. Si, si, si. Oh, okay, pardon. All right. Don't want to uh, be arrested in the yacht club. <laughs> um, si, the... sorry. La club. La Punta Club de Regata Lima. Regata Lima. Guys, if you're a back, if you're a um, budget backpacker, then uh, you'll have a hard time in La Punta. I think this is one of the richer areas of, the, um, of Lima. It, no? It's not too expensive. It's like Lima, I think. Ah, uh, yeah? Yeah, but it's beautiful. It's nice to walk around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Really colorful houses. <laughs> so basically, we uh, it's really tiny because the ocean, you can see it's right over there. That's the yacht club we just left. And then you walk three minutes and you get to the other ocean basically because La Punta it's like a point <laughs> La Punta it's like a little tip and uh, this this beach is a little different isn't it yes it's different because it's like a reserve the birds arrive there to sleep during the night during the day it's like a reserve, natural reserve mm. all right well let's, let's go check it out and be careful from the tsunami 
There's a tsunami oh, yeah. sign here. We have risk of tsunami in the Punta, <laughs> yeah. Very good but you ever had a tsunami? No. Um, in 2007, there was an earthquake, a big earthquake in Peru. The Ruta de Vacuación, <laughs> guys. Yeah, they are maintaining the place very well, I can say. <laughs> this house is in great condition. What do you have to say about that, La Punta resident? Um, I think it's because of the humidity. Mm, so the paint is peeling off. Look what we see! Look what we see! Whoa, whoa, what do we see? What do we see? We see Lima. Yeah. So this is Lima, the capital. We can see maybe San Miguel, Miraflores, that it are all the districts from mm. Lima because we are in La Punta, which is a province. Yeah. And that's very nice because we can, we can feel connected in certain way. We're not isolated on the beach. What do you think? That's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What do you think? Are you ready to eat picarones? I am ready to eat picarones. Are you here ready to eat picarones? Yes, I, I, I am very ready. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's always ready to eat yeah, picarones. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's delicious, it's delicious. Ah, okay. So this is the... Picarones. Picarones. It's like a donut, but it's just empty in the middle. So, is this picarones, it's only in Peru? I think it's only in Peru, because I, don't, I haven't seen in other countries in South America. Yeah. But maybe you can ask your your friends and they can comment if they have something in Right, Le leave a comment below <laughs> <laughs> if there is picarones in other South American I countries. I are, it's meant to yeah. say, maybe because I'm nationalist, but, yeah. but maybe you, you can get Proud Peruvian, only, only we have picarones. Only here, only, only here, here picarones. Yeah. <laughs> this is what's left, this pile of oil, so yeah. Where is the view? Summer. You go in the summer, they will drive you crazy, right? Yeah, they approach to you and they want to invite you to the restaurant. Yeah, well, also here, they want to invite you to the restaurant, see? Here we are, up, 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 it's blocked and woohoo! This is the edge of La Punta. Dun, dun, dun. When two oceans merge and then we can see directly of what do we have in the Pacific. This is where you take a uh, silly picture. You want to do it? Yes, let's take a picture. <laughs> Basically, the two coasts that we saw beforehand meet. And yeah, opa. And these are the Peruvian beaches, not very sandy, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But you can see the difference between the, uh, the beach that we have at the right. Yeah. It was very calm and you can touch the water, you remember? Mm -hmm. And this one has more weights. So because there is nothing to protect us, no? It's yeah. just directly to the ocean. We got the two islands here, the larger one and the smaller one. The uh, yeah. Lorenzo, and the small ones are the Palomino Islands. Yes. So you can see on the San Lorenzo. Let's take a minibus. Hola. Hola, buenas. Hola. Where are we going? We are going to Plaza Grau or Monumental Callao right now. This is also, it's a very nice spot. Get off. Baja, 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 baja. This is the port. You can see, no, the port and everything. <laughs> Chicharron. Chicharron. It's a restaurant, and then we are going to see something colorful over there. Ooh, wow, look at this church, the pink church. Guys. It was a dangerous area before, yeah. very dangerous. Like, uh, there were two gangs fighting against each other. If we walk maybe a few blocks away from here, it's, it's not very safe. But this area was revealed and just to give a purpose, not to Kaya or make it nice. Yeah, and it is nice. People can come and enjoy the culture. It is Kaya. nice. The dogs seem to enjoy it. Do you enjoy type of art that is called Arte Chicha and you can find like different things like with beer, with beer there is no sadness or this legs dance salsa. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> to bad time good salsa or what else? It's advice, advice for life. This is for you. Ah. <laughs> travel travel more, less stress. <laughs> <laughs>
Traveling can be stressful also. <laughs> it's not all fun and games, but yeah, generally it's true. Bien. So this is the dangerous area over there? No, no, gracias, gracias. So yeah, yeah. All right, let's... Uh, yeah, but, but you can tell if you feel over there that it's in Karma, also it's different, no? Yeah, this area is a bit different. Maybe for another day. So for another day. For the danger video. The danger video. The Barrio Mas Peligoso in Lima video. Very popular, very popular South American videos. But no, oh, not today, not today. <laughs> not today. No danger today. Pilsen, which is a local beer that was invented, developed here in uh, Callao. Don't confuse it with Pilsner. I made that mistake also, right? Pilsner, the German beer. It's not Pilsner, it's Pilsen. And I'm gonna taste it now. Work. Okay, so we have here the what do we call this again? Uh, choros, choritos. Choritos, and this is a ceviche. Uh, ceviche, yeah, yes, the arroz con Right, right, the ceviche that comes with the side. So yeah, I love ceviche. Uh, Peruvian ceviche is great. I had ceviche in Colombia, it was terrible. <laughs> stick with the Peruvian ceviche. But it's funny because you basically, you can see here like really nice houses by the doors and everything, but they're not well maintained, at least in this part. You know, sometimes you go to like the historic older part and places and everything is like perfectly maintained because they yeah. want to show. And here it's like clearly an historic area but it's kind of run down. It's time to tell you a little story about the Fort Fortaleza Real Felipe, Real Felipe that was built by the Spanish to protect from the, pirate. from the pirates and then the Peruvians used the fort <laughs> to protect <laughs> themselves from the Spanish. Yeah. So the Spanish colonialism backfired in this case. When did they build it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm inserting it here in the editing the year oh, that yeah. it was founded. There you go. Now you have it. <laughs> Very easy, post-production, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> post-production. The yeah. tricks of the YouTube. This uh, taxi is like a colectivo, it's called, and they're cheaper taxis than the regular taxis. So it's only costing us six soles per person to get from La Punta to kind of the more historical central district, which is not that close. It's like how many miles? I saw on the map, it's close to 10 kilometers, I think. We are going through Callao, right? Which... Marjorie told me not to go to Callao. I told him not to record here because somebody can come from that window and they have his camera. But he's very there. It won't happen though. Do you think a motorbike is going to come from behind and take the camera? See, he's still got the camera. We are now in the city center, Plaza San Martin, where all the protests happen, right? They start here. And the noise. Yeah, it has been preserved over time. It has the same style, architectural style since that time of the colonization. So we keep some areas like that. Like we have this hotel and all the buildings around the plaza. If you can't find a partner to dance, just do this. It's a good place to finish the video at the beginning, which is over here. This is Plaza de Almas. This is the original city square that was built by the conquistador. Francisco Pizarro. What they did, the Spaniards, when they came here, is they kind of copied the city square From Spain. style that they had in Spain, which is a cathedral, uh, a town square like this, um, a certain building, administrative building, and so forth. And this is the original one they built over here. Not everything is preserved exactly as it was then, but this is where it all began.
It's interesting also because Pizarro actually marched in, crossed the Andes, captured the Incan Emperor, Atahualpa, and uh, then was able to capture Cusco by that way, by extorting the uh, native Incas through holding their emperor. But after he did that, and after he had control of the empire, he actually decided not to build his uh, capital city or to build a city in the mountains where most of the population was, because that's where the population was, but decided actually to build it here on the coast. Because he understood that in order to have control of the empire, he needs to have a connection to the sea route, because that's where the supplies and more men and more people from Spain could come in order to maintain his control. So he decided to build over here near the coast, the city of Kings, as it was called, Lima. And this is Lima. So this is the presidential palace. It's like the Peruvian White House. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's where our president is here. There's a female president in Peru now. Yeah, it's they? called Dina. Dina Boluarte. So we can, Dina Bolivarte. We can ask if she wants a cup of coffee with us, but I don't know if she will be available. Yeah. Maybe it's... <laughs> Dina! <laughs> Come have some coffee! <laughs> <laughs> They're going to no, shoot. Uh, she didn't come. She didn't come. She, didn't she doesn't come. want to join us. She's a snob. She's a snob. She's not, she's not a president of the people. No. I don't think. Uh, all right. This is a Vatican flag. So this is the Cathedral of Lima. The Cathedral is the, is the thumb of Francisco Pizarro. The thumb of Francisco Pizarro. Why was the thumb of Francisco Pizarro separated from the rest of his body? I don't know. No, 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 the thumb, the thumb, the, the, the body, everything. It was there. Ah, the tomb. The tomb, the tomb. <laughs> ah, the tomb of Francisco Pizarro. So the conquistador, the guy who conquered the Incas, is buried over here. Now she said the thumb, which I thought was like this. No, this no, is the no, thumb. No, no. Thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs down. I <laughs> But yeah, I thought like, why would his thumb be there? But no, the tomb, the, <laughs> the tomb is there. Okay, that's still interesting. Okay, it's not as interesting as the thumb. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be really a real mystery, but yeah, the tomb of Francisco Pizarro. <laughs> All right, so this is the Bolivar Hotel. Uh, they have here the best pisco. Pisco sour. Huh? Pisco sour. Pisco sour, which is the famous local Peruvian drink. So we're going to try it out now. Oh, people fancy here. Ooh, very good. Marjorie looks fancy. Look, she's got a jacket, blazer. She's got a purse. I look terrible. Very, that is very uh -huh. It's made by Bisco, which is like the spirit, the spirit beverage. It's like tequila, but it came from grapes. Peruvian Pisco Sour. Cheers. So yeah, evening setting in here, and I guess it's time to drink up because it's Saturday, party day, mm -hmm. with the Peruvian drink here, the Pisco Sour. So cheers, salute. Cheers. And see you next time.